Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeek Kumar. Let's start new tutorial about the Lavio Plus Arduino Plus VFD. This is the tutorial number two about VFD, and in this video, we are using how we can control the direction of motor, forward, reverse, and stop. Help of three switches. How we can do this and control from Lavio. Okay, now let's come on the first about hardware and circuit diagram. After it, we are coming in the uh, Arduino programming, then Lavio. Okay, and please remember first if someone is new, go to playlist about the VFD. And VG tutorial number one. After this, come on the tutorial number two. Okay, first you need uh, VFD. Okay, and uh, in the first tutorial, I already tell about the, this VFD and as well as parameter. In this video, we not need to change parameter. That's why go to uh, tutorial number one, visit, then come to second video. Next one is relay module. Okay, Arduino and simple breadboard or some connecting wires. <coughs> okay, and this is the circuit diagram. Now you see this is our VFD. This one is. Uh, two relay this one one and two okay this one is your Arduino you know and uh, now you see uh, in the VFD 0 1 0 2 0 3 and 11 we need to use this three uh, four terminals okay 0 1 terminal you need to connect to 11 okay now you see help with jumper wire I already connect 0 1 to 11 directly okay and the next 11 pin you need to connect to the relay normally open output you see I already connect this one is uh, my uh, from 11 pin okay help of breadboard I am using the red pin, red wire and this red wire go to the center one that is normally open right now you need to connect to this end okay this one the next one is your uh, like this this uh, I know normally open and this is the second end or we can say last end this relay relay module third one and you need to directly connect to pin number two 0 2 you see 0 2 0 2 pin go to this and directly connect to and no normally open okay to end to relay 1 same we do in the relay 2 you need to connect one terminal to your 11 you see I already short from this wire okay and you see here this one I already short from this center to this one and this pin directly go to the bad board from back to 11 okay follow this circuit and the uh, last end that is normally open you need to connect to pin number 3 directly like this and you see pin number 3 I already connected here and directly go to relay module that is second one okay first module you need to connect pin number 2 second uh, relay module you need to connect pin number 3 as per this diagram you see two number connect to this one three connect to this one okay everything is done now let's come on the uh, relay module inputs you see they have a GND and VCC you need to directly connect to the GND to your Arduino you know, and VCC to Arduino you know, 5 volt. Okay. Now what we do? Let's I am uh, tell about the GND. I am uh, connect to our my breadboard. Okay. Negative sign this one, and this wire directly go to GND to my Arduino. Same 5 volt white wire here positive sign, and from this directly go to our Arduino. You see in the circuit diagram here 5 volt. I am directly connect to 5 volt to Arduino 5 volt GND directly connect to ground okay the next one very important IN1 and IN2 this one this one IN1 IN2 IN1 is your this relay module 1 and 2 for this relay 2 okay now what you do you need to connect IN1 to pin number 8 of your Arduino you know this one Okay, and the second one IN2 you need to connect pin number 9 of your Arduino you know. See and see in the circuit IN1 connect to pin number 8 of Arduino you know IN2 connect to the pin number 9 of Arduino you know. Okay, this is the circuit diagram as well as this one. Okay, now let's come on the prime part. First open your Arduino you know. Okay, this one and this is the same as like uh, tutorial number 1. That's why visit tutorial number 1 after just come on this one. Okay, let's um, uh, tell you about step by step. First, you need to declare the uh, relay one. This is the variable. Okay, int int is a data type, and I am entering pin number eight. <clears throat> okay, this is pin number eight. I already connect to the pin number eight, and second one is I'm um, declare the one variable relay two, and I connect to the pin number nine. Okay, and I'm create a simple variable that is data. Next one is void setup. This one. 
okay you need to declare once serial dot begin board okay this is your board rate of your Arduino you know 9600 help for this you can easy to control uh, from lab view okay now next one is pin mod okay we need to declare the pin pin your output or input that's why I'm entering a first variable relay one and that is my output that's why um, uh, we need to declare here output or input next one is pin mode relay two and that is also output I'm declare here okay and this one is your starting means when you upload the program that time your relay or we can say this two relay it's on or off okay but right now I'm uh, give relay 1 and 2 is high condition that means your relay is not operated okay that's time it's off condition that's why I'm declare here digital right relay 1 comma high okay and relay 2 comma high means relay 1 and 2 off condition your VFD is not in run condition when you upload the program okay next one that is very important void loop void loop for continuity operation okay if serial dot available that's time this condition is execute this one okay next i'm entering some condition that is data data is variable uh, you see the integer data type okay and i'm store the value of from serial dot read okay when you open the serial monitor and enter any character or any value that's value store in this data okay help of this i'm creative one uh, like we can say uh, one logic about this okay now i remove this one not need to this uh, brackets yes <coughs> yes okay now you see if data means this one if data equal equal f if your data is equal equal f that time this condition is executed f means i meant here forward okay remember f means forward and i meant here relay one and relay two when you click to f that time relay one low means that time your relay one is operate or we can i meant here in the command uh, on like this and this one is your off condition okay relay one i already connect to the pin number two of vfd that's mean your vfd is forward condition okay and same time your relay two is off condition because at a time you can operate one forward or a reverse okay that's why uh, when i uh, when i enter f that time my relay one is operate or we can say motor start from forward condition okay and the reverse uh, system is turn off that time okay you see in the next if data equal equal r r, r means reverse that's time what you do digital write relay one relay one you need to turn off high means off i mean here off okay and low means on in this condition okay that's time your first relay is turn off and the second one is turn on second is your reverse okay that's time when you click to f that's time your reverse this one is turn off and forward is turn on when you enter R, R means reverse, that time your this condition is execute or we can say turn on, motor is start from reverse, but the second one is turn off, that is your uh, forward operation. Okay. In the S, when you S, S means your motor is stop that time. Then you need to give high relay 1 and relay 2, because relay 1 is your forward, relay 2, relay 2 is your reverse, and you need to turn off both. Okay. After that, your motor is going to turn off okay now I'm going off this one again and this one like this okay everything is done now click to first verify yes and again click to upload okay uh, some error okay now remove Arduino again reflect and again uh, upload yes done uploading okay help of this serial monitor you can easy to operate as per your comment okay uh, you can test from because in the first video i already tell about this how you can operate from a serial monitor uh, okay if you need to check then you can uh, use this serial monitor you can enter f and you see in the output you can able to read what's going on and enter f r and s okay but right now i'm not using this one let's i'm go to directly to lab view because i know this is uh, well working okay now uh, come on the lab view and go to block diagram right click here and instrument io visa in this one first advance and click to open drag here close drag here okay and the next one is you need to use right drag here okay close this one not need 
select this control space control w okay now let's modify okay now what you do uh, right click here and go to structure and create a while loop for continuity operation i'm using this like this okay now i delete this wire because you need more modification create control this is your stop button okay first this one is visa resource right click and create a control let's drag here yes now right click here and go to structure create a event structure here like this this is your event structure okay and what you need click to this one and you need to connect this terminal and connect to this one like this same this one this and this like this okay now what you do click to this terminal sorry click to this terminal right click here and uh, click to link input terminal and use create wire unwired cases okay when you click to this one and you see when you uh, go to other event or uh, let's say I'm give example and go to uh, silver create a button like buttons and have the this is the stop button I'm use this stop button for stop the motor and uh, <clears throat> next one is go to silver buttons and right now what you do let's I'm use uh, this forward and reverse direction and uh, I'm choose this one like I'm um, uh, declare this one is your forward I'm and here forward okay right click go to silver again boolean buttons and right I'm using this one for reverse okay uh, let's increase the size yes <clears throat> now let's increase our uh, text size okay everything is done yes now let's um, give you example about uh, reverse and this one is your stop button okay and this one is your forward now first right click here and go to add event case and you see there have a forward reverse and stop right now I'm using the forward and click to ok and you see in the forward automatic wire connect to this terminal okay and same what you do let's I'm change this one also click to this terminal right click and link input terminal and use create in wire unwired cases okay now let's see and you see automatic connector wire okay now let's again click to add event case and I'm right now I'm using the reverse and you see automatic wire created here again let's I'm change last one that is stop add event case and using the stop okay yes you see stop reverse and forward yes very important now right click uh, and yes uh, you see this is the forward event now this is your button for forward now you, you need to drag in this event like forward same reverse drag here and same for stop drag here yes now it's forward now right click here and go to string and use string constant here why because you see right buffer you need to give some command like this okay now what you do right click here and you see there are link input and use this one okay and okay right now I'm enter here forward and I'm enter capital F because in the other problem I already declare F means forward go to reverse right click create co uh, constant and I'm enter here capital R for reverse 
and next one is stop and right click create constant I maintain S for stop okay now everything is done yes now uh, you need to give delay you can if you need to delay okay and let's uh, first time select the com refresh and this one is my latest com I'm using this one okay okay anyway yes very important thing you need to change the mechanical action of these buttons okay when you click this one and you see right now it's as like a toggle switch but right now we need to change as like a push button okay when I click then on after release the mouse and you see automatic turn off okay how you can change this right click here and go to mechanical action and right now this one latch okay but right now we need to use this one switch until release this one and let's check you see on when you press the button it's on when you release and automatic turn off yes now I need like this type of mechanical action now again uh, select to all this one mechanical action this one yes everything is done yes forward reverse and stop forward okay now let's create a one a condition or we can say status about the forward reverse this one okay how we can do this uh, right click here and go to uh, silver and use string use a uh, string indicator okay in this uh, we are give some message and let's increase the size okay and I meant here uh, okay now what you do this is your output string and right now this forward and click to this terminal and connect to this one and right click create a uh, okay okay right click here and go to string create string constant here okay and you need to connect this terminal to this one okay and enter a message here and right now I meant here uh, motor is forward condition or we can say motor forward like this okay motor forward this one same uh, go to reverse and right click create a constant diamond here motor reverse okay and in the stop motor stop like this okay everything is done now click to this one and uh, go to this font and style I'm um, click to bold and uh, justify click to center yes everything is done and yes uh, right click and create a indicator okay return count this one yes okay now first uh, reconnect your RDN you know okay and select uh, click to refresh okay this is your latest comb click to this one and click to run okay now what we do uh, okay now you see right now the release turn off okay and motor is you see it's off condition you see I run uh, status is turn off now what you do let's um, click to uh, first pre uh, this forward condition click to this one and you see motor is operate relay one and help of this you can easy to control the speed of motor you see and the status run is you see red color okay okay and please remember okay now you see when I click to reverse automatic forward is turn off and you see in the status okay when I'm going to turn on you see reverse forward is turn off you see okay relay 2 is on 1 is automatic off when I again click to forward and you see reverse is turn off automatic okay now is what is forward when I again click to reverse you see okay and the status is motor reverse Okay, thank you so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much, guys.